so hi guys um, Chips here and today I'm going to be giving you a little preview because I'm bored and also I like spoiling the people who are on our forums <coughs> excuse my voice got tons of lighters not very nice but yes it's the floor I will not be looking up for some time I, 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 no 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 so this is <laughs> this is the new spawn that, um, as you may recognise, this is Lucky's modernist theme that we're using as the main spawn hub. So, um, yeah, this is the spawn that we're going to get in 1.9. We're going to get a new map, um, a new set of rules and stuff, and um, I'll go over those in a separate video. This is just a quick little look, quick little preview. So here's the jail. We changed it from a massive underground thing to now it's a public jail. So yeah, we can throw eggs at you and stuff and humiliate you. This here is the, um, the community mansion. I think there's going to be some rooms and stuff in here. There's going to be advertising boards, headquarters and stuff like that for RP people. <sighs> yeah. Um, hang on. Speed hat. This is the new spawn shop. And um, I'll be going over the new rules for the spawn shop in the other video. Uh, we have a nature room. Um, blocks are us, which is just basic blocks really, building blocks and stuff like that. Um, chips and Asmos. <laughs> this was made by Paradox, by the way, who is epic in every single way possible. Um, it's made by Paradox, and these are coloured wool in here. Lots of coloured wool. And um, in here you'll find hot juicy meat, <coughs> made by Paradox, ignore that. Selling sign for zomb zombie meat, oh great. Um, pork, chicken, bread, cakes, stuff like that, you know. This is the golden treasury, which is where we sell our really valuable blocks, like gold, diamond, iron, stuff like that. And this is... Um, hell blocks. So we have themed little areas so you can easily find what you want. Look, if you look up there, there's a restaurant, wall, wood for nature, brick for blocks, diamond and nether rack. So that's that. Oops. What is this over here? Oh yeah, this is um, this is uh, information and rules. So if a new player joins, then they'll be asked to come here and read the rules. So we have no griefing, no cheating, stuff like that. Here's the um, introduction. Lucky wrote all this, by the way. Um, moderators, to help you understand, these are admins, supporters. The colours, like this. Um, green is builders, and blue is moderators, as you all know. Uncle Joe's farm. What the hell is this? <laughs> I haven't seen this. Um, what? What is this? Who built this? Bones admin shop. For my dog, but it also has its uses when thought. Okay, I don't, I don't know if this is staying or not. It might. I don't know, it's just a class stone. But yeah, this is the help center. So this is advice on things in Minecraft, how to set up a farm, how to set up like locky chests and stuff like that. So that's that spawn. Um, what else is there? Oh uh, yeah. Lucky, rather secretly, without asking me, the sneaky bugger, he um, built a new PvP area, which is pretty epic. Um, I'm not going to go into detail about the interior and stuff and new competitions, I mean what, um, but um, yeah, that's the PvP area. Right, now i got to find them. Um, as you can see, that's the main spawn, so that's in the centre of this massive square, surrounded by a wall. And on this wall, we haven't got, we've only got two of them so far. We're still finishing it up. But um, if you follow this, the mossy and the brick, this will lead you to an abandoned temple, which acts as one of the hubs. These are at the corners of the spawn, so you can always tell where you are. So this is the one that I made. This is my little spawn hub. And, um, yep. So if you go warp temple hub, that's um, when you, you warp here and it's welcome to the project which to server and blah 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 and you have like you have a warp area over there and notice board here. It's basically a miniature spawn. 
So, if you want to get somewhere quickly, if you want a landmark, these are landmarks to recognise, because inside these walls is going to be a massive damn city. We're going to bring Metropolis in here. We're going to have Obsidian land. Ooh, log a bit. Ah! We're going to have Obsidian outside the walls. Outside the walls. I'll go into that in a minute. So underneath we got a another spawn shop, so we got blocks and hell blocks and wall and stuff like that. <coughs> oh god, this is terrible. Um, and if you keep wait, right. Warp. Nature hub was it? No, it was warp hub nature. This is the one made by oh yeah there we go. This is the one made by Eggled for well, I still don't know how to make his, say his name. So this is the other spawn hub that we have at the moment, which is nature themed. And we're going to have a castle themed one, and a Japanese Asian style thing themed one, I think. So this is a massive tree, which is pretty damn cool. But you can see the wooden path. So if you want to make your way to the wooden place, then you follow this path which should lead back to the main spawn but inside the walls is the inner city the safe area where we protect everything seriously like everything will be protected nothing will be touched Aha, here it is see so if you walk out here and follow this road it will take you to the main spawn so everything will be protected and this is all inside so this is going to be the major cities the big builds and everything if however you want to start up your own village, you gather a little community of people, this is the new type of thing that we're having, is that my phone going off? Yeah it was. This is the new type of community we're having. Outside these walls is every man for himself, okay? So, if you want to build a village, then you can, but I'd suggest not chunk rendering. I'd suggest not building it on your own. Why is there an ocean out here? This is not very good demonstration. Desert, here we go. So if you wanted to build like a little desert village here, like, I don't know, Niceville was an old one. So, uh -huh. so um, you'd gather a little community of people together and make a village. And then, a moderator, mod plus, or an admin, you send them a little message on the forums. You say, oh, I, I created a village, do you want to come have a look? And if it's deemed acceptable, we'll protect it and name it and give it a wall. And hopefully it'll grow and grow and grow and we'll get a massive community. People can build their own shacks out here, but you have to bear in mind that we won't protect individual houses, okay? That's your job. Keep them hidden. <laughs> Honestly. It's not that hard. Yeah. And if you want to build a house, then join a community. Band together, people. That's the idea. And, um, yeah, we'll just be having a lot more community-based stuff, um, yeah, so outside the walls, nothing's going to be protected, barely anything, we're restricting warps a lot. There will be no warps to certain areas inside the walls, there will be warps to, I don't know, Metropolis, most likely, Spawn, and the four hubs, so you'll be able to get to the middle and the four corners. So you need to like know where everything is, obviously, but I'm pretty sure you can figure that out. It's not that hard to miss a giant down skyscraper. But yeah, that's our new plan for the spawn. And this is the... we're about halfway done. This is the new spawn design, and this will be unleashed upon you all when we hit 1.9. That's the... that's the plan. <laughs> and you can thank Lucky for lots of hard work, thank Paradox, thank... I see, I think his name is, thank me, <laughs> for the idea, um, thank Ailed for the tree hub, thank Jonathan Hohen as well, he's making us the castle, he's a new builder and we really like his build, so we want him to make us a castle, and whoever builds the last thing, well, we'll have to thank them in the next video, but yeah, I hope you guys like the new spawn design, if you don't, then leave a comment saying why, or if you do, then leave a comment saying why. But it's always good to have feedback of people. So, yeah, I'll see you guys around. Ta-ta for now.